once again, I am your host, Orgon Solo, and an hour in space, well, actually not a full hour, my uh, phone is very full, and uh, we will see how much space will plow through with the memories that's left. Thank you for uh, watching, first and foremost. Thanks for liking my page and follow me around on social media. It's uh, very, uh, it's very strange living in uh, 2017, wanting to build a spaceship, wanting to move a man, mankind into outer space as a peaceful, intelligent species in large numbers. And having to deal with the, the everyday challenges of modern technology that includes storage capacity of course but let it be known I say new technology one of the big inspirations of mine is the one and only Nikola Tesla I have studied very much over the years and also been working very much to promote to a broader audience. And in 1898, he made a statement saying something to, along the lines like, Before long, we will have the ability to communicate wirelessly instantly to any points on the planet and uh, transmit sound pictures papers or whatever we know today as modern internet technology mind you this was 120 years ago before long you will have it uh, and it will only it will not take as much space as your wristwatch so uh, it seems like uh, just 120 years ago a guy that history has forgotten but has shaped our modern times in more ways than one said that this will happen very soon why did it take so long perhaps because People forgot about Tesla. People thought Tesla was mad. And sure, he was an eccentric. He had some weird chewing habits, actually. Did you know that? As he was sitting at one of the best and hottest re restaurants in New York at the time, Delmonico's, he had vowed to stop drinking and um, was very uh, particular about his eating having three towels where you want to talk with the cook to make sure that the, the food is made according to his tastes and you know very like like this and this and this and then chewing it uh, so and so many times before swallowing but the guy uh, had practically the same weight throughout his life even into the advancing years but the bottle of wine the best wine on the table like 700,000 corner wine I opened it sitting and eating looking at the bottle of wine and never touching it I think this was his way of practicing discipline on him, himself when I when I was in um, Belgrade some years ago I donated to them I can show you uh, Tesla 
like this. So like, uh, this is this is the third version of this Tesla icon I made. The, the original, original, original one I gave to the Tesla Museum, and they were very happy. They were very surprised that somebody living in Norway could uh, come up with uh, something as <laughs> strange as wanting to make Mr. Tesla into a, a saint. But I think uh, definitely Nikola Tesla is well... I, I think he is actually already a saint, but perhaps not recognized by this world. His greatness was not only to do with uh, the advances in technology, his insights into the workings of the, you know, uh, uh, the electrical nat the nature of electricity. Not only that, not only the, the way that we have electricity in our houses and we can get it safely and uh, it's fireproof and uh, you know speedometer in the car and uh, the, the spark plug is actually also tesla patents not only that but um, the ability to uh, use radio to control devices the ability to um, Uh, radio control the, the separation of bands so uh, not everything is a jump up uh, what more did it do neon lights hydroelectric the, the uh, you know the, the, the practically all hydroelectric power power stations and dams based on Tesla the, the first big plant was the Niagara plant uh, on the border between the US and Canada. All Tesla. He facilitated all this. But this was not his uh, greatness. His ability to not drink the best wine, the best restaurant in New York could offer him. That was not his greatness. Uh, his abstaining from women no that was not it either his his greatness and why I, I think he deserves to be sainted is in how he dealt with failure how he held himself when the world really wanted nothing to do with the guy even as he sees before his own eyes his ideas lighting up the whole planet and he being practically a beggar on the streets of New York people tell to me very often oh ha ha you, you are an artist Ha ha ha! You will uh, your artworks will only uh, be uh, worth something when you're dead. Don't buy them today, then. Well, they're cheap. Why are you not? Uh, why why are you holding on to the trigger till wait till till I'm dead? Then uh, the prices of did that like an icon like this. This is unique. It's original. I could tell you about every facet of the symbology. Why don't you buy it today when well, it's cheap? Why do you wait till I'm dead? <laughs> it, it, it is for sale though. Uh, 36,900 dollars. And it's yours. And you will have something that yeah, I, I'm, I say I'm, I'm serious about uh, pushing uh, Tesla into a uh, sainthood. It's one of the uh, long-term projects of mine, and it's not only my 
it's uh, I'm part of a community with around so upward of 20,000 people all uh, geared towards you know uh, t telling more people getting the, 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 the history and lineage of Tesla into the, the school books and uh, curriculum of universities to have his ideas and discoveries properly discussed by you know people that understand the science behind Tesla but uh, again for sainthood this does not 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 really matter it is how he held himself in adversity being held up as a fool even as the world took advantage of every